Nigel Cecil, equity as you like it. Especially for my equitable friends. Hello, I'm Dave Eager, one of Nigel's equitable friends and also a close relative. And I'm still maintaining my role as an equity editor. So you may well see and hear this. <coughs> Someone has to tell you to buzz off every now and again, Nigel. What, Dave? Moi, Nigel Cecil, an entertainment entrepreneur, <laughs> going to be told to buzz off? Never. Surely, Hillary. What? <laughs> Hillary thinks it might be quite exciting for me. <laughs> A spur of the moment thing. Well, thank you. I look forward to being given the buzz. But uh, some of my equitable friends have been sending in emails, haven't they, Hillary? Yes, in response to my tweet last week, which followed a decision of the Equity Council apparently to support the RMT strike. And subsequent to that motion being passed, uh, well, some equity councillors went along and joined the RMT picket line at Euston. So Nigel Moir posted this tweet uh, inviting, uh, well, your thoughts about it. Just heard Equity Council at Equity UK agreed earlier today to join at RMT Union Euston Picket 12.30pm in solidarity. Members please email nigel.cecil at outlook.com or DM me confidentially to let me know what you think. I realise some Equity members reluctant to make public comment. Now, following that tweet, Nigel Moi received a considerable number of replies which focused, didn't they, Hillary, on two particular issues. One, in using the equity banner, were equity putting across uh, the idea that they were representing all 46,000 members of equity? And also, did the council actually believe that 46,000 members of equity or even the majority would agree with their action? <laughs> but you see, if you're going to think about that, maybe you're not aware of this decision which was taken at this year's ARC annual representative conference back in April. No restrictions on its use, Chuckabutties, so time for Nigel, <laughs> moi, and a quick change. Chuckabutties, how do you like it? No restrictions on the banner's use, and both sides now on Nigel's t-shirt. Do you like that? It does look impressive, doesn't it? But you see, as an evangelist for democracy, Nigel has to say, does the Equity Annual Representative Conference, I'm asking you, represent equity's democracy in action being institutionally, democratically flawed? Was that decision taken to have no restrictions, bearing in mind the opinions of 46,000 members? Now, the other aspect, did the council consider the impact of the RMT strike on the entertainment business as a whole? Hospitality, theatre, here's some news headlines. News headlines, and one is tempted to ask, how did such information, if it did, influence equity's decision to support the RMT strike. Uh, but I'm reminded by Dave Equity Editor uh, and Hillary uh, to make it absolutely clear that my equitable friends support the concept that individual members of equity are personally able to express their opinions both in their private and professional capacities. Now, bearing that in mind, my equitable friends have said, uh, Nigel, can you give us a little bit more time to come back to you having considered these issues? And the answer is, of course we can. But guess what? Somebody has sent me an excerpt from a video published on social media that may assist you in your deliberations, especially as the last bit of this video contains a bit of information that even moi, Nigel, wasn't aware of. Now, here's this social media video, and, and it's open by the Equity General Secretary. I'm Paul Fenn, I'm the General Secretary of um, Equity, um, with the Union for People Working in the Performing Arts and Entertainment Industries. 
Um, and you know, we're, we're here because we understand who's caused these strikes. It is a group of lazy, entitled, hard-lined ideologues who are relentlessly deciding to pursue and disrupt the lives of the ordinary working people who need to travel in this country. And that's not our MT members, that's people sat in Parliament. And our members know that, they know it because it's the same hardline right-wing ideologues that want to flog Channel 4. Yeah. It's the same right-wing yeah. ideologues that meant that 40% of our members got no furlough, no self-employed income support scheme yeah. for two years. It's the same ideologues who told Fatima to go and retrain in cyber. Yeah. These are people who are out to attack us again and again and again. And it's really, really important. I mean, when we were out in um, Dover on the P&O strikes, we were, we, we were there to protest about Seafair as our MT members losing their jobs over Zoom. And what happens two or three weeks later is our members on Cinderella lose their jobs over social media. And there's no hesitation from the RMC to turn up and stand with us on the stage door um, at the uh, Gillian uh, Lynn Theatre to protest the complaint when our members get screwed over. So we're here with RMC members too. Equities General Secretary Paul Fleming uh, letting everyone know that there was no hesitation by the RMT coming along and joining equity at their protest at the Gillian Lynn Theatre over Cinderella. Now, does that information influence your views as to what you consider equity should be doing on behalf of all its members? Now, I'll, I'll leave that one with you. Uh, please email me or tweet me and it won't be long before we're having another little conversation on behalf of my equitable friends. And until then, bye for now. Nigel Cecil, equity as you like it.